What's good with y'all, man? It's tomorrow one two three t and we're back with another Anime Last Stand video. And in today's video, we're going to be spending 100 hours in the brand new summer update. Now, I know it took me a minute to make this video. I've been grinding a lot, and I've been working a lot, but we finally got it done. We finally beat the 100 portals that we needed to, and I just got to evolve and get the rest of these quests, and we can unlock Sid. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. My Discord is down in the description below. Make sure you join the Discord because we're doing a lot of giveaways. And smash that subscribe button because we're close to 6K subscribers. I'm doing a huge giveaway for that. I appreciate y'all for all the love and support for that, man. It means a lot to me. And a huge Huge shout out to you right here for the comment of the day. Like I told y'all, the more that y'all leave comments on the video, the more I'm going to respond and put those in the video. So I appreciate y'all for that. And with all that being said, let's get straight into the video. Now, the first thing that we want to do is I got to figure out what we need to do. First of all, I've been playing a while. I've been playing like off camera and off stream and stuff like that. I need to stream these more often. I'm going to start ALS streaming. Let me know down in the comment section below if I should start streaming Anime Last Stands again. We need to buy the portals and beat those. So, hey, I'll just skip to when we start portal farming with my friends and stuff like that. approximately 10 hours later all right it is the end of day two and i did a lot of off like camera grinding and stuff like that as y'all can see from my quests over here we have done 48 portals so far and as y'all see we got a lot more quests to do before we can obtain see but i did get the surgeon of death lost so let's go ahead and go to my uh units really quick let's see what he needs as y'all can see right here i'm gonna go ahead and evolve him because he's really op with that room ability and i love that so we need that so let's do it that's like the best like support thing you can do so just a simple mask thousand seashells all right boom we make some good progress so far let's go ahead and evolve them that's one of the evos that we need evolve oh, i gotta uh unlock them really quickly hold on unlock the unit and he's an air unit too so that's really good bet surgeon of death boom oh yeah we cooking real quick we cooking with that one and we got him awakened let's go back to the units as y'all see right there he's a whole celestial we're gonna level him up we're gonna run back more portals and stuff like that at day three i should be at like maybe 70 something portals and stuff like that and i should have more of my quests done so i will catch y'all at the end of day three three days later all right we are finally at the end of our journey and i've hit day four i think i have doflamingo and we have law now i just need to use these little tokens that i have in my inventory right here these summer limited tokens we're gonna get we're definitely gonna get urza right there w pickup right there and then we're going to pick up free room because we already have the Surgeon of Death, String Warlord, and the last Great Maze. That's the last two that we need. Perfect. I'm going to get those evolved. And, hey, it'll be showtime. We'll go ahead and showcase the units for y'all. And I'll go ahead and pick up Sid as well, too. Let me see my quest really quickly. Okay, perfect. We just need to evolve one more unit. Then I can get my Sid. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'll get Sid. And we'll do a showcase. All right, we have made it over here to the showcase. And y'all know the rule, man. Really quickly before I get into the showcases, I want to put the tier list right here on the screen. The first one, this is for like raids, stories, progression, anything like that. You know, look at these characters. This is from the official Anime Last Stand tier list. So make sure y'all lock in and look at this one. The next tier list right here, this is for like infinite modes, longer content, and things like that. I'm not sure if it's traitless or traits, but you know, this is just kind of basic example. It should be traitless for this tier list. That way y'all know how strong characters are. You know, they DPS and stuff like that. Just so y'all got a quick idea. Now, with that being said, it's showtime. And the first unit that we want to showcase, I had to put Free Room back there so she can go ahead and handle the airs and stuff like that. And she is cooking. But y'all know, the number one unit I feel like y'all should get this update is Law. Let's go ahead and test him out on placement. He's already cooking up. I got Vulture on mine. I don't know if that's like a stun ability or something like that. But he, he cooks off the rip, man. 31K on placement. I got all the units level 85, except for Urza. She's just one level shy, but, hey, everybody else is level 85. No skill tree, no traits like that for real, for real. Like, Vulture is just something common that anybody could get. As y'all see, he got a quick little cool effect like that. Big old circle right there. Let's give him a couple upgrades. He has his room ability, too, which I feel like he's, like, he's vital. You got to have law, man. You got to have law. That's just cool. Like, a quick look. Y'all see that? Oh, look at that. He got a little, uh... This little execute. I don't know. I don't. I haven't seen one piece. It's like his little surgeon thing. I'll just call it that because I don't know. Let's go ahead and upgrade him a little bit more. Oh, what's up with the skills? Though? Hold on. Let me, let me redo that. 
I can't really see the skills for Hold on. Usually it tells you when you're going to get a new move and it tells you the name of the move, but I can't really see that. Okay, he starts with this move right there. Okay, nice little circle. Okay, he does like a little lightning bolt is what it looks like. One, two. Okay, skill two. This is where it comes in at. This is the new skill, okay? Upgrade three doing 143K. Love to see it. Like his little surgeon technique, okay? Beautiful, beautiful. We love to see it. Let's see what skill three is cooking with. Okay, it's like he just jumps over and do that. But they do look kind of different because, like, you know, the One Piece copyrights and stuff like that. Got to be careful with them in the Dragon Ball Z for right now. Got to be careful. Okay, he's just levitating on a rock. Okay, and does a quick little effect. Cool, cool, cool. Right, let's give him another upgrade. Max upgrade, he's doing 187K. And the best part about it is to his room ability, man. That room ability, you can teleport enemies from anywhere on the map as long as they're in your range all the way back to the beginning, which is beautiful. Got to love that room ability, man. That's a W ability right there. He's one placement, two placements, three placements. Let's see, four placements? He is a four placement type of unit. Personally, I feel like you can get any type of unit. Y'all know Glitch, as I always say. Glitch is the best for, for pretty much every unit in the game. But I would feel like getting Shinigami on law would be really good for like longer content. For shorter content, I feel like Overlord or something like that would be really good with him. Because you're really just using him for his uh, room ability, which is a support ability. So I feel like Overlord or Shinigami would be really good on him. All seeing as well to increase the range. Funny enough, I don't like all seeing that much, but to increase his range amount for the room, because you just want to use him solely for the ability, he's actually pretty solid. So I would say really any good trait with range or Overlord or Shinigami would be really good for him. Next we have Dofi. This is what everybody wanted to see right here. Let's see. I'm going to say the best for last. Y'all know we're going to save Sid. He's just like a green version of him. He doesn't look too bad. He actually looks pretty cool. I like that. Green and uh, green and black looks tough. I like that. He like, he's just shooting off fire. I haven't seen one piece, so I don't know. I thought he had strings, though. He's a burning unit, what it looks like. Okay. Okay, he got his little cuts up in there. He goes from shooting fires to, like, little string cuts is what it looks like. I like the He looks pretty cool. I ain't going to lie. Let's see what the next move is. Decent damage, too. Like I said, they don't have any traits on them. That's nothing crazy. And they're all doing really good. Full AoE is insane. Every nine seconds, though, mm, that's interesting. Every nine seconds. It's not bad, though. He got a little string web is what it looks like. Okay, I see you, Dofi. I see. I think he inflicts fear on him as well, too. Like I said, let me know down in the comment section, my bro. He has that little face right there, that little fear face. I think that inflicts fear. And maxed out, he's doing 996K. Not bad at all. His, uh, his moves are just kind of basic. Like, it's nothing crazy. They kind of get straight to the point few upgrades he only has like six upgrades kind of quick and to the point i didn't see many we can place on him it looks like he burns and inflicts fear i don't know if he's doing a double effect or if he's burning but avatar seems like that would be really good on him so y'all keep that in mind let's see we got three of them going full aoe y'all know full aoe units be busted okay he's three placements too nice nice okay they got some pretty solid units i'm not gonna lie the summer update was pretty valid in my opinion these units are pretty valid and then we have free rim back there let's go ahead and place her right here She's a burn unit, what it looks like. So Avatar, y'all already know, would be really good for her as well. All right, 39K. Okay, look, not bad, not bad at all. Huge circle. They all have really good circles as well. Look at the model really quickly. I like the little particles around her. That's tough. That's tough. All right. She's just shooting off a big little blue bass. All right. Big old blue ba blast. <laughs> I can't speak today. All right, we got upgrade two. Uh, upgrade four, she gets a new skill, which is, what is it doing? Okay, quick little lightning. Okay, nothing crazy. Like a little thunderbolt out of the air or something. Not bad at all. Okay. Something calm. That's a calm little effect every six seconds. And then her final skill, which is skill three. Maxing out, she does 932K. And she's a hybrid. They all are hybrid pretty much. Or they just air units. So they're all pretty good. They solid units, bro. Every, every single summer unit is either a hybrid or it's, a, uh, or it's an air unit. So it's really solid. I like that. And she does she still have the burn effect? I think she has burn and stun. There's a little lightning bolt right there. So that's a W unit right here. Free run. Let's see how many placements she has really quickly. We got one, two. Okay, she's three placements. That's total. I got one in the back, like I said, to handle up like the fodder or anything like that. So she's three placements as well. Okay. Like I said, man, this update is valid. The summer update is really valid. There's some strong units. All right, Urza is next. Like I said, she's one level off from being max level, but being 84 is not going to hurt nothing. Quick little slash. Okay, I see. Let's look at the model really quickly. All right. I like the fire around that. They should really give them cosmetics. Like, when they give out the auras like that, that is so tough. And they could have went, like, with a lot of things, too. They only gave her, like, I think her uh, samurai form. I haven't seen fairy tale either, but that's kind of nice, too. They could have gave her, like, the Valkyrie armor and stuff like that, but they just gave her uh, a little samurai form. Like I said, they all got really good damage as well, too. Okay, she has, like, a little, it's like a little cone right there. Okay, every six seconds she slashes. I like the blue flames on that. That's nice. All right, let's go ahead and look at another one. Okay, she gets her next skill on upgrade six. Let's see what that's doing. As y'all can see, she's a hybrid as well, too. I like that. That's cool. I like that. That's pretty cool. I like that. 
It's something calm and simple. I like that, though. I like the effects on that. That's cool. I really thought they would be red, though, for some reason. But the fact they blew, that, that's cool, too. I like that, too. I like that, too. Nice. And as y'all see, she does have a hybrid form, as I told y'all. But the problem that I feel like with her is, I think she crits every hit as well, too. She crits every single hit. 100% crit every hit. But she's just a single-place unit. So y'all already know, Overlord would be really good on her. Nothing too major on that. Like, Shinigami are all seen, you know what I'm saying? Those are cool traits, but Glitch should probably be the best on her. But y'all know, Overlord, Overlord Avatar is the way y'all want to go. Overlord Avatar. And finally, we say the best for last. We got Sid, a.k.a. Shadow. Let's see how many placements he is off the roof. I think he's one placement. Yep. As y'all see, man, look at him cooking. 59K off the rip is a ground unit. I don't know if he's slowing or what those effects are, but he has special effects as well. Upgrade him a little bit. Okay. He gets Nightfall Strikes. Okay, it's going to tell me his moves. All right, bet. But he has his line AoE right there. Okay, big old thick line. And he becomes full AoE off the rip like that off of Upgrade 4, which is really cool. I like that. I like all those purple effects. That's really cool. Let's look at his model too as well. Let's go ahead and give him a quick little 360 with the purple. Nice, nice. That boy see it looking nice. They got to get them cosmetics, man. Every summer unit needs a cosmetic. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. All right, let's keep it going. Next little upgrade. And look at that. He's already hitting a million damage, too, with just a couple upgrades. Perfect. Then he has an I Am Atomic move. Okay. Love to see it. But he costs one million to get his Eclipse Blade. That's his last upgrade. He is attacking every five seconds. He goes from five seconds to nine seconds. He has a huge full AoE circle, as y'all see. He just kind of does an explosion with it. Okay, keep on cooking, see it. And then on his final upgrade, you know, you well, like on his second to last upgrade, I believe he has I Am Atomic, which is a nuke, basically. When you hit it, he says I Am Atomic. Boom, and just nukes everything that's in them. So, hey, like I said, it says infinite. Well, you can just spam it. Abilities on cooldown, it says infinite for some odd reason. I don't know if that's a glitch or anything like that. But, yeah, pretty much, hey, man, if you made this far in the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff, man. It's, we got all the summer units and stuff like that. It was a valid update. I liked it a lot. Let me know if y'all liked it down in the comment section below, man. And with that being said, it's tomorrow123T, and I'm out.